Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here on the Citadel and the Citadel server is on 1.21. We are now with the rest of the people playing modern Minecraft uh, with all kinds of cool things and new blocks. So that happened overnight and I'm excited to no longer be talking on the Spawn Chunks podcast about what it would be like to play in 1.21 now that all the mods and the data packs that I wanted to update are up to date. We are good. Uh, it didn't take that long uh, in terms of uh, like troubleshooting. It was more just some really tedious chair hours to update a couple of data packs that we have on the server. Uh, one of which is uh, a wood recipe data pack in the uh, stone cutter. So if we go to the stone cutter, we've always had this, but I've updated it to include other blocks. So now we have one from Vanilla Tweaks where we can get mini spruce logs from... Um, from the stone cutter now, which is great. Uh, but we can also craft a bunch of other different things from the stone cutter. Uh, and what's nice about this is that I can now strip the log, but then if I put the strip log back in here, I can also craft the other stuff out of the strip log. So uh, that is the same for all of the wood types. The 10 woods plus the bamboo, multiple crafting recipes, all kinds of goodies. We can do this with a bamboo and get the things and they come out in the ratio that you would expect so it's mostly vanilla ratios we've tweaked a few things here and there that is oh i messed up so that should be four so obviously i have to do a couple of tweaks here and there but that'll be easy to fix i haven't gone through and checked absolutely everything it's the kind of thing where like i just wanted to play on the server i wanted to get it going and so we'll uh we'll go from there what I like about this is I think I don't know if I no. I wanted to be able to, to pack bamboo up and down, and I might have to add that later. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits kicking off the stream. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate it. Uh we needed more grass. Gravel. I think that's okay. Some of the stuff we were just putting back. Some of these things could be restocked as well. So like we can take a couple of these. And obviously all of my recipes have to be unlocked again. Uh, we didn't lose any achievements and we didn't lose any inventory in the update. But uh, I've not figured out a way to update the server and not have it reset our inventory. I'm going to sleep here to get rid of this thunder. Oh, there we go. Oh, boo, blast Jordan. Dan Grice, good to see y'all. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Hope you're having a good week. So yes, we need to make some uh, spruce trees. We need to harvest some grass. This, I think, is just going to go back. That can go back in the wall. Does anybody feel like the sound volume is down? I feel like my block sounds are low. Yeah, that sounds softer to me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether they changed that. I don't know that that changed it at all. Weird. I don't think I turned down my volume on my headset. I should not have done. We have new tough now too. We can use stone cutter to get chiseled tough, chiseled tough bricks. We can do polished tough, tough bricks and slabs and stairs now too. I 
I've looked at these in creative, but I've not looked at them here on the server yet. I think some of these are going to be fun for that abandoned farm that we want to do. And I think some of these are going to be good down here. I think this room would look really cool if it just had that little bit of a green tinge to it. Like, see, we've got the bricks there. I think it would changing those to... That would be good because we've got this on the back. And this has got some tough in it. And I think if we pulled that along, we started to incorporate that in here. Maybe not the decorative ones. I mean, maybe that one, but certainly the bricks and certainly the um the polished ones would look really good as like the bottom part of this as like a support so like where's a good let's do that one over there let's get a bunch of this stuff Uh, you can see it's very bright, but we could probably switch this out. Oh, they got a different noise too. That's cool. I think that could be really fun. Fun to mess around with. What if we put that in there? It might look better with blue lighting too. I'm sure we'll figure it out, but I think that's pretty good. We might have to consider what happens in here if we do that. Maybe this would look better with one of these chiseled versions. It's a little bit better. That's that's kind of cool. Like it's not too decorative. It's just decorative enough. CJ says my only issues with the tough blocks are the lack of cracked brick and lack of renewability. Otherwise, great blocks. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be an issue as well. It's too bad that the mason doesn't give you tough blocks. Uh, and I agree, I think you should be able to, to do cracked stuff. It seems consistent with the way that the game goes, but that might be a little bit too green. We might have to think about ways to do this that's not the entire column. Maybe a gradient or something. I mean, this is not an outside wall, I don't think. So we can change the inside of this, I think, to whatever we want. I'm pretty sure the outside... Oh yeah, this is like three blocks thick. So yeah, we can change the inside to also be something else too. So we could have this kind of stuff happening here. Try to bring the color over a little bit. Yeah, if we continued that, I think it would look pretty good. Be a very different vibe down here. It's not going to be as clean as it looks right now. We'll have to make sure we incorporate this. Now, see, this is cool. If we did the tough parts here, if we leave this part stone, then, well, one, we'd have to if we wanted to keep the cracked, but this could look kind of pretty and more important if it had a different color and frame to it. So there's an opportunity here to do all, to do all kinds of stuff. Uh, but this is going to change the way that I deal with this tough folder. We're going to do that. That is stone bricks. Tough bricks, stairs, slabs, polished, 
and then the two kinds of other things. Oh, there's a wall too. I guess we'll just move this whole thing over. Uh, and a site and stone. Right, so yeah, we wanted to, to collect a few things here at the start. Yeah, I don't know why my the volume on everything seems low today for some reason. Uh, let's see here. Might as well bring those with us. That, I'm not dying right now, so... Let's do, bring that. I'm gonna need a handful of grass. I should have all the tools. Super fast, hello, welcome in. We're kind of puttering around today. We are just updated to 1.21 and so First things first, I want to collect some spruce. We're low on spruce logs. I'm tempted to actually take a little bit of a break from Westell and go see what farms on the server might need a crafter. That could be cool. I'm going to have to compare this VOD to my uh, my last VOD to see if the sounds are lower. Got the axe. I've got the hoe. That's what I want. Oh, I left the bone meal inside. Crap. I always forget something. So we were just talking about uh, <clears throat> tree chopping on the Spawn Chunks podcast on Monday. One uh, of our listeners wrote in and I was asking about ideas for an enchantment on an axe that would cut a tree down all at once. And uh, let's do that over here. Johnny and I both kind of not vetoed, but weren't really keen on the idea. Um, just because this method is is really fast. In terms of just manually getting some stuff going. Uh, actually, I guess I can leave that down, can't I? That should be good. We've got axe, pearl, bone meal.
I think that sound is new too, isn't it? it? Makes the teleport noise now. Which makes a lot of sense. So it's kind of like my own version of Johnny's Choppin' Tuesday. Except for it's Choppin' Wednesday. Gathering some resources and hanging out with everybody. Is everybody in chat running um, 1.21? Out of curiosity. And if you are, are you running vanilla or are you running a slightly modded server? Or install? Gee, that's a big one. Holy wow. We're like 10 blocks higher than the other one. I'm not sure how long I'm going to do this, but we're going to get at least a couple of stacks. I anticipate some redstoning happening in the future, and I think hoppers are, and chests are likely going to be key, but also I just need some more of this for this area. Now that we've got the opportunity to do more redstone, I fully intend to use bamboo for my uh, my hoppers and chests whenever I can, right? Unstable Gamer, hello, welcome in. Running Pure Vanilla 121 says super fast. Wanted to start a new world and was waiting for the update before starting. Oh, very cool. Uh, running Vanilla 1.21, not used to the new stuff though. All right on, says Unstable Gamer. So um, next, at the end of this tree, I'll show you the mods that we've got installed. Um, the ones here, I think on my display will be the client side but there's only a i want to say four or five no five or six mods server side uh, you can also do bang joel's mods in chat all lowercase um if you don't know what the bang means it's an excellent exclamation point and you'll get a link to a spreadsheet that shows you all the different client and server mods that the server is using so if you wanted to mimic what we're doing here you could give that a go um, but if I look at the mod lists, it looks like a lot, but a lot of it is just cosmetic stuff. So like 3D skin layers, armor poser is new. We still have the data pack for that, but the armor poser is, is really fun uh, and a little bit more interactive and easier to do, to deal with. Better F3 is just the colored F3 screen. Bobby lets me see farther on my client than the server. The server render distance is 16, but my render distance is 28. Continuity is a connected texture thing. Enhanced block entities. So this changes um, entities like chests into blocks when you're far away from them and it reduces lag. Falling leaves, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You can see some of that happening now. Uh, ferrite core is a reduce a memory usage problem. Free camp is self-explanatory. allows me to look around. And then indium iris, those are related to performance and shaders. Light Matica is a building mod. Lithium is also performance. Uh, Madlib is just an API library. Mini HUD, uh, that's where I get the light levels from. Uh, very similar to Light Matica in some ways, but we only use it for light levels. Mouse Tweaks allows me to interact with my inventory. Replay mod for recording stuff, although I've never really used it. Shulker Box Tooltip is great. That shows you what's inside a Shulker Box while it's in your inventory. Shulker Plus is how I get labels. On my shulker boxes simple voice chat for chatting with other friends on the server sodium of course for performance uh, and then of course the mini map and the world map and the zoomify so that's it like it's not it's not really a lot it's not really a lot the one that i was really disappointed i could not update is my um view bob it's updated but it conflicts with the other mods that i have uh indium and that enhanced um entity one so if you look at my my uh crosshair like if i walk the crosshair bobs up and down like it, it kind of it kind of does that and that kind of makes me seasick after a while so this view bob uh, mod 
stopped the view bobbing. However, it keeps your hand moving around. So that little, like my axe going up and down as I move, right? So like this, uh, that's the wrong thing. Hold on. Uh, I wanted this button. So yeah, that, that movement with your arm still happens, but your FOV doesn't change. So it just, I, I find it, it kind of bumpy. I don't like it. Lucid Wolf, things are good, thanks. How are you? Oh, hey, <laughs> the tree grew on its own. <laughs> I never thought about that. Me walking around and stalling. Uh, I guess I'll just do another one over here. I got a clean shot somewhere. Not going to be as efficient to do them together. It's fine. You have a 1.21 server with your dad teaching him the basics. That's great. I love what when families can play together, especially if that, that person is not necessarily a gamer. I think Minecraft is a really accessible game. And even people that don't necessarily identify as a gamer, I think they would have a lot of fun with it. If you're creative at all, especially anybody that maybe like is an engineer or an architect in real life, I think they would have a lot of fun. I really enjoyed watching a couple of videos on YouTube a few years ago of a city planner that had built a modern city in Minecraft and was then doing a video reviewing other people's modern cities. And the idea was that um, he was critiquing them from like, a, if I was to build a city in real life, does this have the same sort of attributes that a real city would have? It was really cool, really interesting to see. And I know in some of our coverage on the spawn chunks, um, Minecraft has been used in communities to design like playgrounds and public spaces. They get kids to say, hey, what would you like to do with this two blocks and nothing? And then the city takes it under advisement and then architects work with the Minecraft designs and kind of come up with something that's springboarding from the kids' designs, which I thought was really cool. That way your community's got a voice in some of the development. All right, how many more of these do I really want to chop down? survey says oh, okay we're good i think we've got i think we've got enough for now Lots of sticks too. Awesome. Task one finished. Never thought to look to see if I need any Bruce leaves. I usually don't use them very often, so we should be good. Practicing some Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, is that like Pokemon? It's like a playing card game, right? Or is it a video game? Oh, we had lots of those. Never mind. You know what? We should probably take those out and we'll get rid of the birch ones. I don't tend to use birch leaves very much at all. All right, 
Uh, those can go back. Puzzle. Where do I put that? I never seem to use very much of it. Always good to have a stack of sticks handy. Oh, there's no room in there? Right now we need grass, which means I need shears. Where are they? They are. I didn't realize I had rockets in here. It's the playing card game, says Lucid Wolf. Yu-Gi-Oh! It's similar to Pokemon card game or Magic the Gathering. Oh, okay, so similar to Magic the Gathering. I've never played Magic, but I, I've got friends that have played, and so I'm at least familiar with, with that. Fun fact, the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game came out after the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga showed up, uh, and then the anime started so they could promote the card game. Well, that, that I'm used to. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, Transformers the cartoon was made to sell toys. So was He-Man. The, the only reason the cartoon existed was to sell toys and action figures. So for grass, I just fly somewhere where you can't see it and start clear cutting. I'd say this looks pretty good. Nothing worse than going through decorating stuff and running out of things that you need a lot of. Oh, that's what it is. The volume on my computer is down. So it's not the volume for you guys. Well, that didn't change anything. That's weird. Well, wait a minute. If that if that button on my computer doesn't change the volume, how do I change the volume? That's dumb. The button on my keyboard changes a graphic on my on my monitor that says it's turning the, my computer up and down, but it's not actually turning my computer up and down. Uh Sound. Yeah, it's not affecting my headphones at all. Huh. That's odd. I have to restart my computer after this. I mean, I can hear okay. It's just, it doesn't, it's not as immersive as it normally is. Two stacks already. To keep an eye on the durability of the shears. Does anybody know if this stuff regrows? Like, if you walk away, this doesn't regrow, right? So 
some odd blocks missing. We should have Enderman Grief turned off. I don't know why those blocks are missing. Feels so weird to have to go around and manually collect a uh, grass. But I guess when you're doing a lot of landscaping, you, you go through it. I really want to set up some crafters at the moss farm to take advantage of the, the bone meal extra stuff that we get. Oh yeah, I know we need to bone meal it for it to regrow. I just thought that if it was an untouched area. The only thing we reset on this uh, this update was the end, the outer end islands. Everything else we kept the same. I think that's probably good. I never like to fill it completely up because then if I actually grab some, I've got somewhere to put it. Has that been fixed? Uh, yes. So my end portals are all... I did that manually. I think I grew mushrooms through them. So the end gateway portals have all been removed. And then the end... The outer end islands have all been reset. Although I have to say, I don't think anybody's been out there since the last update. I There's only a couple of chunk zones that needed to be reset. I think maybe someone went through once. And that was it. All right, that's done. Uh, so gravel was the only other thing, and I don't know. There might be gravel in the hills. We'll take the shovel and, and the box just in case, because I'm really low on coarse dirt, and I do tend to use a lot of it. So if there's gravel up in those mountains, then maybe we'll find a non-picturesque part of those mountains. Um, probably over there. Lord Andy, thanks for the tier one sub. Six months. Things have been great. Good summer. Fun times. Good podcasting. And uh, updating to 1.21. I don't see any gravel. There's some gravel. Hmm. I think that looks pretty ugly. Let's destroy that. Uh, for fi folks that might be wondering, this is free cam. It allows you to look around. Uh, it's got collision on though, so you can't like go through the ground. You are a long way from home, bee friend. Something I really like about systematically removing blocks from an area. Especially because it gives you a glimpse into the Minecraft generation. Kind of see what these blocks are covering up. Reminds me of gathering sand a little bit. We do have a gravel pit or quarry sort of by our uh, our mining desert. I do like it when it's two blocks thick. This won't take very long at all.
What am I working on? Uh, we have a three-year-old medieval city or medieval town. I've been doing some landscaping and I've been running low on things like grass, coarse dirt. Um, what else? Moss, spruce wood. So we spent, careful Mr. B, I don't want to punch you. We spent the first, I don't know, half an hour of the stream just like doing the old Minecraft, refreshing your inventory um, talking about the changes that we've made in 1.21, a couple of data packs, a couple of um, mods. Actually, that reminds me. Remi re show, I'll uh, I'll show off the um, armor statues data pack or not data pack mod. When we get back, it's pretty fun. It's a little finicky, but uh, like it's missing some text fields. I wish that mod and data pack developers would allow for precision from players because minecraft players are generally kind of picky and uh, i find that not all of the controls for data packs and stuff lend themselves to that i mean i'm very particular that's for sure I really like it when you're collecting a block that is up against a block that the tool that you need will not worry about. So like shoveling gravel off of stone is awesome. I don't feel like I'm overshooting. Where here, like I don't want the grass. I know I could just completely blitz it and not care, but there's something really satisfying about doing it up against the stone. getting dark we might be good that certainly puts us in better standing I'll go into the absolute last dregs of light because I want to turn some of this into coarse dirt Resource gathering in 1.20 server updates. Yep, that's basically where we are. Uh, what are my thoughts on netherite? Worth it. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I uh, I don't wear... I wear netherite boots for the durability. I don't wear netherite leggings. I never wear a chest plate because I'm always using my elytra. And I wear a gold helmet to keep the piglins off my back, so... the um, I, could, I could switch to netherite pants. I use netherite tools. because they're better but I don't know I was taught we were talking about block availability on the latest episode of the spawn chunks uh, you can watch that on YouTube youtube.com slash the spawn chunks or you can listen on your favorite podcasting app and um, netherite was one of my blocks that I never bother with because of the um, of just the, the pain it is to go get it it's, scrap like netherite scrap would be cool but it's just such a pain to go get right beautiful just what i wanted so that takes care of the gravel and then we've got a few things here that can go away that is a lot of pink leaves Need some more room in that chest. Oh, running low on mud. Where? Somebody's head, I guess. Um, put that over here for now. I 
thought I had leads in here somewhere, but maybe I don't. Oh, they're there. Pumpkins. Oh, yeah. Here's what I wanted to show you. So we've got this armor statues thing. So we can do it the old-fashioned way. There's a book. This might not be the right book. But you can do a couple different things. I'm not going to place down a pumpkin just because it'll turn it into a player head. So I'm just going to try to find something that's already a player head. So imagine this was pu um, orange. So you can have a pumpkin that size. You can um, show the arms and then have a pumpkin that size, which is the same size as it's on the ground. Or you can switch the head utilities nope um swap slots so on the head it's a little bit bigger right so there's a full block right so you got three different sizes well now all I have to do is shift click the armor stand. Shift right click the armor stand. And then you have rotation. So you have all this stuff here. You still have to kind of set up your view before you do that. You got to be close enough to click it. Right? But now I can do stuff like this. Now it increases the size of the whole stand. But if you wanted to have a really big pumpkin, and say no gravity uh, and then and is there a way to nudge the whole thing align the blocks it appears in surface that didn't work This is choosing different surfaces. Is that on the ground? No, that's not on the ground. Uh... Lock and unlock, but I don't know how to move the whole thing. Head, body, left leg. Oh, position. Here we go. So right until it touches the ground. And then if I go back into again, and change this scaling. So again, if you want to have a big pumpkin, do something like that and have something that's larger than a block. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, at 10X, they can get super big. So you could create like a statue or something like that if you wanted to. Don't know how you get rid of them though. Uh, poses. Like, that's a pretty big stand as it is even at two times. This is what I mean by it's tedious. I want to be able to type in this. Oh, I can. I wanted to be able to type in this one, but you can't. Like, that's massive. This one you get a scroll, and then you can't get it back to one. 
So this is what I mean by it. It's like, why is it not moving? Why is it moving in such strange increments? Like, it makes no sense. And why is, yeah, I don't know. It just 93 to 101. Like, I know that's close enough to full size, but like, it's still that one, that point one would bother, would bother me because <laughs> I'm me. All right. I don't know where we have room for extra pumpkins. I don't think I have a snow. Oh, wait, I do have some snow layers. Go. That's where I put the extra pods all. Remember, I have extra bread in here for decorations when it comes to it. Oh man, so much junk. I think I could just toss this. why I have any either of those. I feel like I've got bottles in here somewhere. I've been using these shulker boxes as like little dumping grounds for spare bits as I've been out building and they just started to get really overflowing with stuff. Obviously, everybody needs a junk chest, right? Now, these are going to go back to the bee farm. So those are specifically there for a reason. The tough thing is full. Let's just make more of these new blocks. I actually want to go see if those tough blocks are going to work out the right way. Slabs and stairs. It is nice having your stuff all put away. Who makes the armor stand mod? That is a really good question. Uh, that is by Mr. Bisco and Shine Nike, I think is how you pronounce that. Uh, armor Poser. Uh, you can look it up on modrinth.com. Yeah, when it goes the other way too. You can make things really small. I think that's just about everything.
Got to make sure that I update to the new book when I get a chance. We might have to go repair some stuff. It might actually be worth it um, to go do that and then take a look around and see if any of my um, I don't have the crafter recipe. Maybe it's related to iron. There's definitely some spots in the farms. Huh. Interesting. You'd think that that would unlock somehow. What else is in the crafter? A dropper. So maybe I have to hold a dropper? There we go. I thought redstone or the... The ingot would unlock it. Well, we've got the crafter now, and I think it might be worth it if I've got to go repair the shovel before I do any more landscaping. Not that it's dead, but it's, it'd be fun to do. Uh, oh, I put that back. I think it would be cool to look at the guts of our iron farm, which is currently not working, and actually see what's up. So, I have an ender chest. I have this. I am currently armed. That's good. We can just go. We can just go look around. I should have all the things that I need nearby. So, what I'll do, uh, thanks for the reminder, Dan. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll go to the gold farm. Take a little bit of a walk here. I do notice my frames are a lot lower now. I used to get a lot closer to 60 or 70 with shaders. Uh, but I'll, I'll, uh, on my break, um, I take a break once an hour, folks, usually, and it's about that time now. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll wait until I get to the gold farm, and that way I can AFK at the gold farm for five or six minutes, and that should be all we need um, to... Um, those are taking forever. All we need to um, repair the stuff. I... I have not really tweaked the shader that's new with 1.21. I really don't like the clouds. They're not my favorite. I gotta change the water too. It's all still cylinders, I think. No, BSL. But I tried my 2.9 and it didn't work. I need to, I wanna look up the settings and if anybody has the website, let me know. I know that Iskall 85 has a complimentary shader setting that's like just a little bit beyond vanilla. Like it's not super intense shade shaders. It's just like a little bit brighter and it just looks really cool and it doesn't look like it's super taxing. I mean, he's obviously running a much better computer than I am, but if anybody knows those settings for complimentary shaders to make them look crisp but not overpowering, fire them in my Discord if you're uh, a member there or here in Twitch chat. I'd very much appreciate it. I'm pretty sure it's complimentary reimagined. I'm pretty sure that's the pack. I'm also noticing that um, my camera stutter is back. Um, depending on the shaders and the frame rate. Katana, hello, hello, welcome in. It's funny, you know, when you walk over old builds and old textures where you weren't thinking too hard and you're like, man, I did a pretty good job here. And now I tend to overthink stuff. I need to take a, take my own advice and just and not worry about it too much. Rain. Alright, 
first stop, Gold Farm. What was that? This world contains data from an old version of Minecraft. Bobby upgrade to upgrade it. Uh, interesting. All right, our map doesn't work here. I have to change the levels somewhere. I think we're walking it around level 90. 91. You can actually see what we've built in the nether. I wish we could set that to a default, but it doesn't seem to let us do that. Gold farm. This is someplace else that could use a crafter as well. I'm not sure who left their stuff. It might have been me. What are we doing for fuel? Nothing. this I do want the sound to go down because these guys are loud hold that I shall do this shovel first all right I'm gonna take a short break folks I will be back in five or six minutes
so we got the shovel and the hoe repaired. Just a matter of the other ones now. Thank you very much, Blast. Appreciate it. Squealit has acquired tea. Never been a big tea fan. I like chai tea. Chai tea lattes. That's it, though. While we are repairing stuff... Wow, this place is a mess. A whopping 25 levels. Where else are there farms in the nether? Uh, oh, there's that. I don't know whether that could need a crafter or not. I probably could. That's my wither skeleton farm. There are, there's the guardian farm. That could use some crafters. Actually, yeah, let's go look at the guardian farm. That could be a good thing to start with. Um, that's another wither skeleton farm. Blaze rods, not so much. You can't really do anything with blaze rods other than turning in the blaze powder, so that's okay. Uh, there's no farms here. A lot of the other farms are in the overworld. The other guardian farm would be kind of fun to look at. I haven't been there in a while either. Obu, yeah, the, the nether has been around for a while. It's it's well networked, but it's also um, like really low tech. It's all it's all um, cobblestone mostly. All right, we're good there. So now I can turn my volume back up. Collect all the goodies. So yeah, we could definitely use a crafter here to turn all of this into blocks rather than having to do this manually every time, which would be nice. It's not the end of the world, it's very fast, but Don't remember what I'm missing over here. Lemon glazed loaf tea. Wow, that sounds sweet. Guardian farm, guardian farm, guardian farm. We need to go towards the desert, I guess. The guardian farm is always really cool with shaders on too. Dan, you haven't seen the Guardian Farm? This is old school. Matt Cast and I built this way, way back. I'm not sure why Matt Cast wanted Prismarine, but he needed it for something. Maybe a slime farm? He was decorating it, maybe? So the Guardian Farm is over there. The Ocean Monument. You can just sort of see it down there. Actually, maybe I'll jump in the water here. Let your eyes adjust for a second. I'm not sure what the visibility is like with these shaders, but you can sort of see it in the distance there. You'll get a better view with our tunnel. I 
Again, I need to adjust the water settings on this shader pack. So this is all decorated, of course, from material that we got from the Guardian farm. So we left the ocean monument intact, but then decorated the floor. The cool pattern, which I like. And then it's a pretty standard box of water that we can turn off. I think that's what the dispensers are for. And they just get, uh, it's hard to see with shaders on, but they get thrown down there through some lava. The actual collection system is down here. They just kind of get sucked up by the hoppers. And then that's the AFK room. And then this is the drop evader that sends everything back up. This was built before, I think it was before we had water columns to move things around. So that's why there's a dropper elevator there. Um, Sakaria, thanks very much. I like it too. I really like the way that it came out. Uh, and then we've got, this is back when you had to put trap chests and uh, normal chests next to each other in order to stack them side by side. But we've got a decent amount of stuff hanging around. Uh, obviously that's a double. Uh, well, maybe we don't. Yeah, we're not doing so hot on the crystals. Lots of fish. No one ever takes the fish. And there's no salmon. So where is the access to the back? I don't remember. That's the manual input, I think. Must be around the side. There we go. Right, so there's the redstone filters, right? You've got shards. And that one just has overflow. And then up top, I can't remember what's up here. I think it's just another view. All oh, right, it's just the leftover from the construction, another manual input, and the decoration up here. Thanks, yeah, the floor is really fun. It worked out really well. I like, I like the fish. Thought the fish pattern was kind of fun but it's, that's it that's the whole farm the the bulk of the work was actually clearing out all the water from this space um but the farm is not that big it's only like 21 by 21 or something it's not super large and it's just water columns on top of fence gates and then enough space you can see it here where the water kind of just flows everybody down to the middle but i'm too close now they're not going to spawn oh there we go so they get, they just get shot off the edge there. It's not crazy fast, but it's fast enough. The problem is no one lives nearby, so it's not always going. Um, but this, I think, could benefit from, from some crafters, because I don't think, other than just these blocks, you don't really need... You don't need these for anything else other than making the blocks. So we could totally make prismarine and prismarine bricks and maybe dark prismarine and certainly sea lanterns out of all this. Because we don't, I mean, we obviously don't need this much storage. I think it would be cool to have like crafters up at this level. And then at this level, we could have the actual products. I think that would be a very cool way to update this area. It's also a slime farm <laughs> because somewhere over here, there's a slime chunk. So you can't AFK here in the very pretty area, which is unfortunate. It would have been really nice if we could just AFK anywhere around here, you know, have a cool view in AFK, but we can't. Um, so yeah. So that's good to know. Yeah, Prismarine is a fun block. Prismarine and um, Acacia are a really nice combo. Birch isn't too bad in here either.
I'm trying to think about the, the closest neighbor I think is Alistair. Oh, right. I have to change this back to default. Uh, so you can see there's the, the guardian from there. Where's, uh, oh, there's, okay. So there's Dartmouth Meadows. Yeah. Alistair. Actually, I think that's Anna. I think that's Anna. Anna Marie. I guess it's maybe a, I guess Alistair might be just a little bit closer than Cosmic. But this is Spawn Town over here. So we really didn't go that far. I have to find an ocean monument, which is good. Uh, anything else farther down this desert road? I don't think so. I want to check the uh, the iron farm. That's not working. I'm not sure why. But I know that I want to put some crafters underneath it. And I'm the one that designed the iron farm. Um, Alistair fixed it. So I don't know what Alistair did in the, in the guts of it upstairs. But the underside, the collection area, was something that I did. So I should be able to remember which way is up down there. Did the spawn chunks get changed with the update? No. Um, no, this iron farm just stopped working a while ago. And we just don't know why. I don't remember whether golems are spawning on the outside of it or what. That or our zombie or our villagers are missing. I can't remember. It's old school. Like it used to require doors. It doesn't anymore. We just retrofitted the inside of it to be different to a new... A new mechanic? Yeah, there's obviously there was some spawning area around here somewhere. I don't know what's going on. The villagers are there. I, you know what? I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to pop up somewhere that's a little bit safer. Oh, that's why. Because there's obviously spawning spaces. We have to clear out, I think, some of the mountain would be my guess. Uh, how can I get rid of him? If I push you away, I wonder if they'll spawn a new one. Go forth. Venture. Venture away. It's not super well lit out here. So I'd say somebody realized that the issue was the buttons, was the spawning spaces. So I guess we have to think out about what the spawning radius is for this. The villagers are obviously panicking and bouncing around in the bed. We can see that happening, right? Like they're trying to sleep, but they can't. That iron golem might still be in the way. I forgot that the shader pack had Northern Lights. That's cool. All right, so that's a new golem. He wasn't there before. That's the guy we pushed away, probably. So they're not spawning in the collection area. New spawn chunks being a three by three. No, it's not. Um, I No, that shouldn't be an issue. Also, that's just the rendering on the water. The collection area should still be functioning if a golem spawned in that area. But I think what I have to do is look up the new mechanics for the iron farm and find out why these guys are spawning outside. It might be something as simple as just having to knock down some of this mountain. If anybody in the chat knows, let me know. Blast Jordan, thanks so much for stopping by. Really appreciate it. All right, well, I can at least sleep. So I don't have to worry about getting blown up myself here. It's a pretty view to sleep under.
I thought they were supposed to be scared constantly, but it doesn't seem to be. I don't know. There's at least two golems. Do I have... You know what? I have... One of these. Not going to be very helpful for the dude that's in the water, but... We have fire tick turned off. <laughs> Oops. Didn't mean to hit him. He's being smart. How long does it take to kill you? It hits like a truck. And let's not die. <laughs> this take forever. This is what I don't like about messing around with farms. It's always like this long, arduous process. It looks pretty damaged. Oh, he remembers me, that's for short. Surely you're almost done. Oh, jeez. So am I. Crap. <laughs> well, at least spawn is right around the corner. So, with no chest plate and no iron, uh, netherite leggings, the game definitely gets a lot harder. That's our world spawn, by the way, for people that don't know. Hopefully nothing died in a fire. Oh, that sucks. Thankfully it's netherite. If I lost a shulker box in there, I would have been mad. Elytra's fine. Where are my boots? Can't tell if he remembers me or not. All right. I'm not going to bother with that again. We obviously know that they're spawning outside of the the iron farm. Is the flower pot in the way? Uh, I don't think so. So underneath all of this, this is where the... Uh, Iron columns die. Are we missing? We're missing some lava, I guess. Hold on now. Oh no, there's the lava there. So they get caught on fire. And then they drop their iron. I feel like... I feel like there's something missing here. They must not be able to fit through there. So then both the poppies and 
the um oh we got a filter here so there's the iron filter and that drops the iron into that so there's the iron that goes up there I remember that now. So that's the iron. And then this poppies would go this way. And that goes upstairs. This is the, that's the moss farm. So poppies and then iron. So really, if we're going to put a crafter anywhere, we should probably put it up inside the room. And I think if I just break these blocks, oh, no, I guess not. Right. So there's, there's the stuff coming in there, just going over the hoppers and it's just straight up iron and we were manually crafting it into blocks. So I feel like we could have a setup in this space here somehow. We might have to take it up an extra block, but we could create a, a thing in here where someone could just come by and get iron blocks and that's all you have to do so we i feel like we've got room in there to mess around with that that's pr probably pretty easy and then on this side we've got poppies but we could turn the poppies into dye as well if we wanted to i feel like there's also an overflow back here yeah, so the poppies, it looks like the overflow was meant to go into bone meal. And then there's also a cactus there for anything that doesn't make it into a composter. Composter goes into that one. Yeah, so poppies, bone meal, and then just some random chests. Bone meal's on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, with the bone meal we could do we could do pink and white uh, and red dye here as well. I don't know if we have the room for that here. We might not. We might not. We certainly have the room to do the um, the iron parts. That's for sure. But I don't want to do that until I know the iron farm is working. And the moss farm, actually, let me just get out of this portal. Oh, I went through. The moss farm is way more complicated. So the moss farm has everything happening over there automatically. It's an ill mango design. All of the moss stuff comes down here and goes underneath the iron farm and then gets shot up here. So everything comes in along here, gets filtered out one by one. It gets fired into this honey block wall and then it cascades down the honey block wall into the into the um the filters and then up here so everything comes along here and gets filtered the overflow goes around the corner it actually you can see it on the map it goes outside the building it goes around the corner there and then when it comes back around comes back through here and this goes up and over and around so it kind of filters its way through again because these get overrun with so much stuff so it goes in a loop and once this fills up then the overflow goes to all these um these uh, filters here and this is all um, bone meal. That sends everything down to here, which is just um, composters. But it's never, it's never full. 
I've just got too much storage in here, so I can never really get it jammed up full. But when it's on, the 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 pieces cascade down through there. Actually, I could probably turn it on to show you. Where's the on switch? It is not conveniently located. That should turn it on. And turn off, turn up the lag. Oh, I'm gonna sleep here. That's working. We should start to see stuff. So it's spitting that stuff into cobwebs and the cobwebs line things up. And so eventually they sink down through the cobwebs and get pushed out in small stacks. And then it cascades down and they're lined up just right. So they go into the right spot. But because this is just a stack of hoppers, sometimes stuff goes into the top chests before it goes into the bottom chests. It doesn't line up evenly. But it's really fun to watch. You can see everything going up here. So you can stand here and know that it's working. The falling leaves mod is really cool in here too. I forgot that the leaves were going to fall from these. That's pretty cool too. If we go watch, it's it just pushes out an absolute metric ton of stuff. Like, look at this. Probably can see better without the shaders. So it's all auto stone generating. It feeds itself bone meal. So these filters here, um, there's a, you can sort of see it. There's a divide right there, that little water divide that sends a third of the contents of the farm back into itself. And so that contents bone meals and refills it. So you never have to fill it with bone meal. But yeah, I really like the way that this looks. Uh, I will go turn it off though, because it is a lag monster if more than one person is online. And all this is, is just a wall that activates a very long redstone, redstone line, which I think, so there's our iron farm. Where's, where's the redstone access? Is it back here? I think it's back here. Yeah, so there's the there's the water coming in and then down here leads to that redstone line that I was talking about. So that's how I activate it remotely. <laughs> it's one giant cable. And of course I had to make it look cool. I do try to stay around in the area until I can hear that the droppers are not firing anymore uh, because it's uh, I, do, I don't want to log out while it's running at all because I've broken it a number of times and it's a real pain to fix trap doors and things out there that get out of sync. It's it's a pain in the butt. So I tend to really be really careful before I use the uh, use the portal to go back into the nether. Yeah, we need to figure out how the iron farm is. Is broken. It's obviously that the golems are spawning outside. I just need to figure out what the new radius is. So it's got to be from the villagers, would be my guess. It might be something as simple as just raising this up higher or something. So that's the iron farm. Is there any other? I'm trying to think about if there's any other farms while I'm out searching. Uh, 
I guess we go back to Dartmouth Meadows because that would have the majority of like the, the vegetable farms and stuff. I guess we could put a crafter underneath the greenhouse and turn the melon slices into melons. I wanted to do that. See what else we got here. This is a data pack, but we can we can craft nether wart into nether wart blocks. So rather than just having an empty chest here. That's manual though, like you have to go up there and manually replant that. That's no good. We could take excess cactus and turn it into green dye. Yeah, we could probably turn... I don't know if we would do it there. Access to this is down below. I think I have to go in my cabin to get there. There's not a lot of space underneath the meadows. Yeah, so that's the chest right there. I guess before we spat it out into the waterways that go underneath all of the farms, we could use a crafter like at this level and turn them into pumpkins. That way you could have melon slices there if you want melon slices, but then what would be sent on would be melons. I don't know if there's a lot of room over here. This is just pumpkins, I think. We don't send the cactus anywhere. The cactus stays where it is. This is crazy. This is my starter cabin. A little bit four by three. <laughs> uh, there's the creeper farm, but the creeper farm doesn't need a crafter. I don't think there's much you can do. Chicken farm is automatic. Matt Cast has a slime farm. He could probably use a crafter underneath his space. Uh, I guess we could compress the wheat from the wheat farm into hay bales. And there's certainly room to do that. It's just not working very well. Because no one's ever loading the area. But there's lots of room underneath this. So down here... We've got a lot of space. We've got the wheat that comes down through there when it overflows. Seeds are taken out and put into bone meal. So we've got seeds if we ever need them, but then anything else is just bone mealed. And then that is spat out. And where does that go? That goes... To the farm? I'm not sure what that goes to. Beacon. Why does the bone meal go over here? That must be... Where was I? Oh, it goes to my bone farm. <laughs> it goes to my bone shop. I hooked up the bone meal from the farm to my bone shop. That's convenient. I wonder, I'm curious now, where does that come out? I was like trying to figure out where I was. Use the map, Joel. So we've got this little market area over here. And my bone shop is over here somewhere. So unless it goes to Cosmic's place? I don't know. This is my little bone shop. There's a hopper going into this chest. That is 100% where it goes. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah, it probably goes into both of these chests. Yeah, that's that's what's going on. So the extra bow meal goes over there. <laughs> that's awesome. This actually worked out really well. It's copper stairs back to back and then an iron trapdoor for an angled thing. I have to remember that for like the modern city. The stuff that you do years ago that you forget that you know how to do, right? If 
Yeah, I really like this place. I don't know what Anna was planning up there. Can't do anything with carrots or potatoes. So wheat we could condense if we wanted to. So everything that we've been looking at in the meadows, they're all vegetable farms. And they're all meant to fuel the trading hall. And connected to the trading hall is a little greenhouse. And the greenhouse has um, overflow for carrots, wheat, potatoes, melons, pumpkins, and string. String is from the um, spider farm. But down here underneath all of it, we have the guts. And here, like that's melons. So before it gets sent up, we could totally, we could add like a crafter. This is just like a melon filter, right? So we could pull the melons out. And then before it gets sent up, we could maybe do something under the floor here and craft it into a melon. Although, do you trade melons or do you trade melon slices with a villager? I think it's melons. I think it's full melons, right? But you don't trade hay bales. So, like, turning everything into a hay bale probably wouldn't be a good idea. Potatoes. Weirdly, the wheat color I chose was green. I should have made potatoes brown, but brown is not very pretty. It is full melons? Yeah, that makes sense. I have to find a uh, a bed here. I am not used to having the speed beacon around. I feel like I'm flying. Is there a bed in here? There will be in a second. So this was an old school villager trading hall that was powered by recycling villagers over and over and over again. So we still have a bunch, but this is where you'd have to like call them forward, see if they have the trades that you want and then send them away. Whereas now you can use the, the, um, the lecterns and stuff to, um, to make them what you want. And so these cells were designed without the lectern. Um, I'm not sure why the lecterns are out so far. I thought the lecterns were meant to be back in. It might have something to do with their pathing. I don't remember. We have respiration equipment. Yeah, some of these guys are probably worth replacing so all we would do is redirect the track to wherever we want them to go and then call forth a villager and if they had the trade that we wanted then we would just switch track so green you stay red you go and back here was just their demise cactus and then there's just a drop into lava i think can't remember it also plays a, a, a price is right sad trombone <laughs> which is pretty funny uh to pick up xp easier that might be it you're probably right uh nan hd that's you're probably correct but it's the like it the space was designed with old villager mechanics from 113 before the village and pillage update so we have to rethink that i we're so long in the tooth in the server now we've not really had a need to do a lot of villager trading i don't know that anybody's died and had to re-outfit themselves recently you know we'll die and have to redo all their stuff my sci-fi area is going to be very f redstone farm centric so i'd imagine we'll get a lot of stuff done in that area i wish i could change the map to default to 
something in the nether and then change back when you're in the overworld. It just feels so jarring to have it not work at all. The only thing, the only farms in the modern city are, what are they in the modern city? Sugarcane, that's it. Oh, an ink farm, there's an ink farm. And then my little swamp area, which is somewhere over here. That's a witch farm. That's a bow meal farm. And the slime farm is over here. So slime could use a crafter for sure. And bow meal could as well. There's really not that many. I thought there was going to be more to do with the crafters. I mean, I'm still going to do it, but it's not, I don't think it's anything dire. There's nothing that I'm really short on. And because we're a small server, we have enough stock in that iron farm that it's not immediate. Although I think that's going to be my first project is relearn the new iron mechanics and fix the iron farm. I also need to update my texture pack. There's a couple things that are not working. I miss the pebbles in my coarse dirt. I might look at vanilla tweaks and see what kind of textures they have for 1.21. We use a lot of their data packs, fair amount of recipes. Right on, folks. Well, we really didn't have a chance to build anything today. Uh, I feel like it's just one of those days where you're getting reacquainted with the new update. You're looking forward to doing new things. And sometimes when you log into Minecraft, you just have to uh, do some good old fashioned wood collecting and gravel collecting. And now that we have all that stuff, I feel like I'm in a much better shape to tackle all of the paths and landscaping that has to be done. Oh, I am also glad that we have the new tough blocks. The new tough blocks are going to be great in the basement of the keep, and they're going to be great at that abandoned farm over the hillside. Dan asks, will you change to the stone cutter for mini blocks? We already have. We already have. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I have not done yet is, is disable the wandering trader, but we're 100% moving that. Yep. But that's where we're going to leave you folks. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. That's Thursday at 1 o'clock Atlantic. UTC minus four hours for more Minecraft here from the server. And we are in 1.21. I will have a little bit more time, I think, um, to plan ahead and figure out what we're going to do. I want to try and switch this rock from a cobblestone to tough. I think it would look cooler if it was a little bit darker. So we're going to try, try that and see whether I like that or not. That's probably the first thing we mess around with. Uh, but uh, you can follow the Spawn Chunks on your favorite podcast app or YouTube. I do a Minecraft podcast every week with Pixel Riffs. We just celebrated six years this week, and so I'm incredibly proud of that show. Uh, we have over 300 episodes, and I think you would really enjoy it. Do check out Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube as well. That's where the entirety of this build has been cataloged and recorded over the last three years. You can watch it all. Block by block, no cuts, uh, if you have that kind of time. Uh, I, I apparently have had that kind of time, but uh, it's also a lot of fun for me to build this place. Do check out things like Patreon at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the best ways to support me and your favorite streamers. It's less than one cup of coffee per month, and it keeps me streaming. Really appreciate the bits and the tier one subs earlier today. You folks are awesome. We are going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft, who is live right now that I know. You know what? Uh, I have not rated Cubfan135 in a long, long time. 
Uh, oh, you know what? It's Twitch. It's a uh, Flip's birthday. Never mind. We should go raid Flip. Everybody, pile in and wish Flip a happy birthday. I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks ever so much for a fantastic afternoon. Pretty chill, but I think uh, we'll get a lot more done tomorrow. All right, folks. Bye for now.